How y'all doing? Good. How was your summer? Summer was great. Yeah, got a lot of time to relax and unwind. It's good to have a summer to get that, like, enjoy, as opposed to just doing rehab the whole time. So I'm blessed for that. You spent so much time here during OTAs as well, so. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, but, I mean, I love Tampa. I guess. So I want to be here, and it's good waking up and seeing sunny days most of the time. You know, it's a blessing. Day like for you guys. I mean, you're not passing, and we still got to ramp up to that. Yeah. Just kind of re recalling a lot of stuff, but is it different when you get to this day and, and you're out there trying to execute? I think it's a little bit different. Like, I mean, I felt like you spent all year kind of prepping for the season, and now, like, this is like the first like official day of the season. So it feels like a first day of school. Like, there's like a lot of excitement. Guys are eager to go. Um, and it just feels good to get back on the field with the guys. You know, it's it was a fun first day. Guys are having a good time flying around. It wasn't that bad weather-wise. Like, it started to kick up a little bit at the end. But, you know, for July in Tampa, it was a beautiful day. Do you feel any different, uh, Chris, physically than you did, um, you know, in the middle of last season? You, you feel you can uh, – are, are you quicker in terms of recovery from your injury? Um, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. I would just say, like, overall, my body's just feeling so much better. Um, you know, it's like the difference between being kind of like survival mode and being in a position to be able to like perform at a high level, recover, and then bounce back and do it again. Um, you know, I'm I'm grateful for the experience I got last year because I mean it it's, it tests your you know your perseverance, it tests like your character and stuff like that. So I grew a lot from it. Um, I was fortunate to be able to make it back in time to actually play last season um, and still like put up some decent performances. Um, but I'm excited about I'm excited about this year, man. Um, Excited to be healthy. Excited to get out here and work with the guys. Caught a ton of balls, Chris, but uh, maybe your yards per catch wasn't wasn't what you want. Yeah. You think it'll be different this year? I would like to hope so. You know, but I mean, like when I look at it, to be honest, like I just try to. I'm really just trying to get better each day, right? Like stats, like you know, they kind of come and go. I feel like it, like if I'm focused on my stats too much, then I worry about the wrong thing. Like we got a ton of guys here that are working hard and you know, working their tails off, and you know, I, I'd be wrong to just be focused on myself. So I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help lead the guys and be a part of the team and try to really just want, like we want to win games. Um, so whatever I can do to help us do that, like if that's more yards per catch or if that's you know what I had last year, if it's producing more wins, then I'm happy. Is there anything different about this first day of training camp for you than all the other ones you've been doing? Um, it's hard to say. Um, I think, I mean, the two that I kind of just think about are last year and this year, and just because, like, those are the most recent ones. And last year, obviously, like, I wasn't really taking a part of. And so just being out there, it's exciting. Like, getting to, like, get acclimated with the guys at the same time as opposed to playing catch-up for the entirety of camp. Um, but it's just fun. Like I said, it's. I think like that's the biggest takeaway I've got from today is just a lot of fun. What was it like not having fans in the stands for uh, for day one of training camp? I feel like it's a different vibe than than maybe in years past. Yeah, it definitely is a little bit different. And honestly, I didn't. I kind of forgot that we normally have fans on day one until like me and Mike were talking pre practice, and he was like, "I thought we we're gonna have fans," and I was like, "Why would we do that? Like we don't normally." And he's like, "Bro, you're tripping." Like. <laughs> There's always fans, like, they're always hype. And then I was like, man, you're right. Like, so it, it, it's, it's strange, but I think it's kind of good because it gives guys a chance to just, like, get back into the flow of football and focus on, like, their assignment as opposed to, like, you know, performing in front of, you know, a, a group of people that they don't know, especially, like, the young guys, like, rookies and guys that's on the team for the first time. Do you feel the responsibility of being a leader on this team? What does that look like for you? Um, I think in a way, yeah. But, I mean, we got so many guys on, on the team that are capable of being leaders in their own like respective way that like I don't feel like this like overwhelming sense of like I gotta lead, I gotta lead, I gotta lead. It's just like do what I do, just be me. Cause I mean like I've always kind of helped guys anyway, and so I to me it just is I view it as just like trying to help the team get better. It's doing what older guys when I was younger did like did for me, just like helping me out whenever they see stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Like that's all we can really do is pass the, uh, information down. What do you see from Kyle and Baker today? So a lot of good things, you know, guys, they look they look a lot more confident with the offense. They're, you know, they're on time with their throws. Whenever there's a mistake, they're bouncing back from it. Um, but I mean, it, it, like I said, it's, it's an exciting time, like not only for us, but for both, like, both of those guys, they get the chance to compete for a starting job. And, you know, and I think just like the environment on the offense in general is just like, it's very upbeat. Like it's not like a tense environment where they feel like they're like going at each other's heads. It's like a friendly competition. 
said that he it had been a long time where he felt like he was this open mm -hmm. uh, on offense. Uh, are you feeling that as well? I know that's kind of the idea of this offense, scheming guys open, but I mean, it's like for most offenses, but you know what I mean. <laughs> are you are you kind of sensing that a little bit? I think you can kind of get like a feel for that. Like it's like we're still like really like developing the offense and figuring out like what we specifically do best. Um, but I think like I think Dave has has a great football mind. But I think like his demeanor is very good for what we need right now as an offense. You know, we're like we're a relatively like younger team, and it's kind of like giving us like the the ability to learn on the fly. You know, guys aren't afraid to make mistakes. We're like you know we're going out there and just like playing free, and whenever like there are mistakes, we just kind of like, we learn from it and we grow. But and we just like trust that he's going to put us in positions to make plays. And it's like if we trust the system, the plays will be there. The ball will find an open person. Why, why are you guys afraid to make mistakes? Is that just because of Canales's general like demeanor? Yeah, I would say so. Like I mean, like the whole like the whole staff. Like we're just like it, it's a it's a very like freeing like environment, right? Like we're all having like a great time. Um, I think like some of the young guys like like feel like they're like a part of the team already, which is really cool because like sometimes when young guys get here, like it can be a bit intimidating when you're going against you know some of the best guys in the world at, at what you do. So um, I think I think Dave's energy since he's came in has been amazing. He's been consistent, and that's really all you can ask for from you know from your coordinator is to be the same person every time. Like you don't want him to be one way in the meetings and then get on the field and then start like snapping on guys. And you're like like where'd that come from? You know what I mean? So we appreciate him for that. Chris, Chris Brad Isaac has talked a lot about the importance of footwork for the receivers in yeah. this offense. Has that been hammered home through OTA's minicamp and now for the start of training camp, just kind of based on its importance in the structure of this offense? Yeah, I would say so. Like it's We focus on it every single day. Um, and I, I, I enjoy it because, I mean, like, say, like, you, like sometimes you can get caught up in kind of skipping the fundamentals once you get into, like, the bulk of the season because, some, like, sometimes teams are just so focused on, like, the scheme. But, like, if you like, if you just ignore your fundamentals as things kind of go, as time kind of goes, you neglect those and you start to kind of fall off. You see guys falling on routes or the timing is going to be a bit off. But if we're constantly working on it, then we're constantly going to like improve. Um, so it's good. Like it's been good. Like we, like I said, we focused on a lot in OTAs and we did the same thing today. And like, I, I hope it continues. Chris, do you expect to block as much in the trenches this year as you have in the past? And if not, you think they'll miss it? It's hard to say. I, like, I definitely think I'll be blocking. Um, like, the nature of it, I'm not particularly sure. You know, I think that, like, there are, like, certain formations and positions, like, that we get in where, like, I'll be able to be, you know, as physical as I was, like, in the past. But, like, you know, I think we have a bunch of other guys that are able to get in and to be able to make blocks as well. So it's really, like, whatever the team, like, needs me to do is what I'll be able to, you know, step in and do. But as you guys know, like, I'm a very willing blocker, you know, and I think it, it benefits the team. So... I think he's a very smart player. You know, I think that obviously, I mean, I think we've been in the league the same amount of years. So he's been doing like a lot of good stuff. You know, he's, he's good with his releases. He runs good, uh, good routes. But like, you know, he's just he's just a pro, man. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that he's on our team and, you know, kind of picking his brain a bit. Like we kind of like share thoughts and stuff like that. But he, I think he's a really good addition to our team. Mike has a chance uh, to tie Randy Moss and get the 1,000 yards this year for second most. 1,000 yard seasons in NFL history behind Jerry Rice. Just what can you say about him? I feel like I ask you about it all the time, but yeah. just what can you say about about your teammate and, and what he's been able to do consistently, yeah. regardless of who the quarterback is, regardless of the system he's playing in? Mm -hmm. He just seems to, to find a way every year. Yeah, I mean, you said it perfect right there, right? There's there's not like, you know, enough words to say about how impressive Mike is. Like he's, obviously, he's done something that nobody in NFL history has done. and. You know, like that's a testament to like who he is as a person, but also like who he is as a player. You know, he comes in, he does his job. You know, he's not like some diva, like who's just like demanding the ball, regardless of who the quarterback is, what the situation is, how many games he plays. He's he's gonna go out there, he's gonna perform. You know what you uh, what you're gonna get from Mike. So it's like whenever stuff like that happens, where he's in a position to you know to capture a new record or tie a record, it's like that makes sense because like you know he's that guy. So. Um, I couldn't be, you know, more happy to keep playing by his side, man. He he taught me, he's taught me a lot, and like to have us, like you know, one and two for as many years as we have. Um, I feel like you don't really see it too often, so I'm fortunate. Were you surprised when you first met him that that there was like no diva and, and ego at all with him? I mean, because you do see that sometimes at that position. Mm -hmm. Um, you definitely see it at like at the position, but 
I don't know if I was surprised. I just I didn't particularly have much of an expectation coming in. Um, you just never really know. Like it's like when you're coming into the NFL, you like you just have no idea what you're getting yourself into. And obviously, like you see some guys that are like you know divas, but I didn't come in with some like preconceived notion that he was like that guy. Like you know a diva. It's like I just came in just hoping to learn, try to be a sponge, and um, gratefully, you know he he kind of like he accepted me and and was teaching me from day one. Um, that's a good question. I mean, I think, I guess like the way like they carry themselves is a little bit different, you know, like I think like Kyle's a little bit more like, like laid back and Baker kind of has like a little bit more of like a chip on his shoulder for like whatever reason. But like, I think like that's just like the biggest thing like so far, like, cause they both throw like really good balls, you know, they both like have the ability to process information fast and to get us in the right, in the right spot. So. I think just like, you know, like their demeanor, like their personalities, but, you know, that's not to say that one is better than the other. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Y'all be safe.